Hello, I'm Julian Fellows, and thank you for joining me for another Fireside Chat. To celebrate the upcoming release of Downton Abbey A New Era, I'm sitting down with various members of the cast in this series dedicated to talking about all things Downton with you, our audience. Today's topic is the glitz and glamour of the bygone era we portray in the new film and the relationships of the characters we know and love. Today, my guest is Alan Leach, otherwise known as Tom Branson. <laughs> it's lovely to be here with you, Julian, and I'm delighted that we get to chat. I know that the fans, certainly, of the show, and me as well, even when I first joined, I was kind of blown away by all the glitz and glamour within the show and the opulence and... I'd love to talk to you about that, about how important it is to portray that and to get that right. We wanted a handsome show, mm. you know. There's a lot of kind of uh, doom and gloom on TV and in films at the moment. And I mean, that's fine. There's, there's room for everything. I don't want to sound as if I'm anti it. I'm not. Yeah. But I think a bit of glamour is fun sometimes. Uh, and, of course, the fashions were rather attractive and it was quite an interesting period for all that. Uh, and we knew we could make it look good. Uh, and, and we took the chance and did it. I mean, we had a very beautiful house to film in and, and we made a point of finding other rather attractive locations as much as we could yeah. so that it was a handsome uh, piece to watch. Uh, and I think we've done the same in the new film, I mean, the 20s is a very rich period in a kind of slightly different rhythm because it's coming into the modern world. The clothes are beginning to look more wearable for our own generation yes. and all of that. But again, it was a very glamorous period. And of course, the fashions as well gave, gave such a, a kind of symbolic um, visual for any audience member to see the change and the transition that was happening, especially the, the female fashion. Yeah, particularly for women. I mean, yeah. the, the men in the 20s were wearing much the same as they had been wearing in 1912, but that, that wasn't true of the women, and particularly the young women who had by and large abandoned corsets. Mm. And obviously the big changes with upstairs, but the costumes for everyone downstairs, and I suppose even the way you, the show is written is quite different, isn't it, from upstairs to downstairs? Well, it's written and filmed. I mean, we, upstairs we had static cameras moving around, very stately mm. progress. And downstairs it was largely handheld yes. and, you know, everyone on the run and in a hurry and dashing around. In a way, uh, downstairs people had less freedom, I suppose, because they had to, by and large, live on the job and all, all of that stuff. That would change over the 20s and 30s. And nevertheless, in a way, their days were more interesting because upstairs you were just doing practically nothing but changing your clothes, occasionally going for a walk with the dog uh, and, and getting dressed for dinner. I mean, that was sort of it. Michelle has that great line as Lady Mary where she says, I'm just going to go upstairs to take off my hat. Yes. A, a big moment for her that day. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that, because like, when I wrote it, I didn't realise it would become one of our iconic lines. Yeah, it really has. But it did. So with this movie, what are you most excited about bringing to the screen from the 20s? I think the 20s was a very liberating period. Uh, I think it was when even the government came to the realisation that things had changed and the pre-war society was not going to be entirely revived. They had to get with it or go under. Yes. Uh, and, you know, we feel the Crawleys are getting with it and whatever the future requires of them, they're hopefully going to be able to deliver. Mm. Uh, and of course, for Branson, he's gone into a position that he never thought he would find himself in. Yes. But, you know, his years uh, with the Crawleys have not been wasted. I mean, he's now been trained up <laughs> for his new life. Yes. I rather enjoyed that. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Thank you. For joining me today. Next week, I've got a bit of a surprise in store, so be sure to tune in. <laughs> <laughs>